Elizabeth Leachman was the athlete of the meet. We've told you about her for weeks. She racked up 22 points for Bernie Champion, winning the mile and the two mile. And oh yeah, she's just a sophomore. Leachman's 10-11 time in the 3200 meters was about 30 seconds off her national record time, but it was still a UIL State 5A meet record. She won by 20 seconds. Leachman is also battling a hamstring injury, but she sure took home the gold. She also set a state record in the mile. What's more impressive is what those who know her best like to stress most. She's even better off the track than on it. She is South Texas's rising star. Our 2023 Footlocker National Champion, Elizabeth Leachman. And rising faster by the day. Elizabeth Leachman, 944-14. That is a new meet record. It is also a national record. Birdie Champions Elizabeth Leachman is quite simply one of the best we've ever seen. There is your national record holder. In just the last 18 months, Leachman has gone from your typical high school freshman to a national sensation. It all started when her parents took her on a fun run when she was eight years old. Her strategy? Get it over with. It was early in the morning, and either way, I had to get through the full 5K. If I ran it, it was faster than walking it. So. The quicker I was done, the quicker I could eat breakfast and take a nap. But that was a one-time thing. Beth didn't take up running again until cross country in the seventh grade, and she was by no means a star. But that all changed somewhere between her freshman and this, her sophomore year. It's incredible because like she was 20th, I think, at cross country state her freshman year, which is fantastic. But then February of um, Last year, we were at the Bernie ISD um, track meet. She just like ripped, she ran super fast, and I was like, oh, we are in a new stratosphere. New stratosphere is right. State champion in the mile last year as a freshman. National champ at the San Diego Foot Locker Cross Country Championships. New U.S. record holder in New York at the Nike Indoor 3200. And a new U.S. high school record in the 5K, smoking a field of college women at the Texas Relays. Tell me, though, about, about A, the invitation, and the result at the Texas Relays. Was that something that even surprised you? Well, we were able to, like, it was funny because we um, asked Coach Ellis to, to see if we could enter her in that in the 5K. And they came back and were like, well, she's got to have a qualified time. And we were like, okay, well, she's pretty fast. And, and then when we she ran that, that 5K indoors, um, they were like, oh, okay. Like, she's actually 40 seconds faster than the rest of the field, and so we'll let her in. To be honest with you, we had somebody call us and say, hey, you know, she's going to win by a wide margin. Do you want a rabbit to run with her, right? Somebody that can pace her. And that's, that's kind of when I knew, okay, this is, and I knew it was different from the beginning, but it was like, wow, you know, it's that wide of margin against college runners. Off the track, a mild-mannered 4.0 student and the nicest kid in school. On the track, a competitive beast. You would never guess it when you're sitting having a conversation with her before meets and after meets. You know, it's, I'm shocked at the pressure she puts on herself. I think I've worked really hard to try to keep the competitive side of me on the track and, you know, be social and nice to everyone off the track. But definitely once I get on there, it's, it's game time. As you can imagine, she'll have her pick of colleges, but that's still two years away. The tougher job for those who advise her is not looking too far ahead. She can go anywhere she wants to go, and um, I want her to have a really good, supportive group of girls, of women to, to run with that will lift her up and a coach who understands that pressure. She just keeps defying everything, um, like just phenomenal workouts and phenomenal races and trying to get her to, you know, I, I don't know, can never keep her in a box. She's, she, whatever she wants to do is what she's gonna end up doing. Her 5K national record was fast enough to qualify for the Olympic trials this year. 
It's not a done deal yet, but it's a glimpse of what could be. It's realistic, but it just depends, again, like the number of people who qualify between now and I think June, the first week of June. I think if the opportunity presented itself and I got the invite, I think I would take it, but that's not necessarily something we're shooting for at the moment, but if it comes, that would be fantastic. You have to pull Beth back. You never have to prod her. If you turn the other way, she's working, outworking everybody. Coach, I'm gonna do my workout at 5.30 this morning. Okay, Beth, I'll have the lights on for you. I'll have the restrooms unlocked, you know. You don't have to micromanage her, you have to pull her back. Let me ask you this, what are your goals long term? I think just to kind of be able to stay healthy and continue to improve instead of, you know, focusing on the short term and my, I guess, performances right now. You don't dream of these college things? Do you dream of the Olympics? Do you dream of those things? Or, or are you just trying to not go there yet? Yeah, I think I definitely, I do dream of the college running experience. I think that it would be fantastic to get to go run on a good NCAA team. But I think beyond that, the Olympics and things like that would be amazing if they turn out, but that's not a particular goal of mine. She's a better person than she is an athlete, and it's, it's incredible. Um, we're very blessed to have her here, and let's not put pressure on it. Let's cheer her on, um, and let her be a kid. Let her, you know, let her be a student. There's so much more to her than, than her running. You know, she's going for student council right now. There's just, you know, it's a whole body of work. And let, let's celebrate it, enjoy it, and enjoy the ride with her. Beth Leachman representing our area well. Up next, she will run at UCLA in two weeks as she continues to try and qualify for this year's Olympic trials in the 5,000. She's also got the National Brooks and Nike meets where she will run the 3,200 and the mile. One thing is for sure, she's only getting started.